Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Obi's Garden. In this video, I'll show you how to make a very simple drip irrigation setup that takes about 5 minutes to make but can save you from having to water your plants daily. There's nothing fancy about it, just a straightforward, functional, efficient, time saving and cost saving system. You can make it from recycled material so the cost is next to nothing. I'll share tips to guarantee success throughout the video, so keep your eyes glued to the screen as I break things down. I'll be using a container that can hold about a gallon of water. An empty milk bottle works great. A white bottle is preferable to the transparent type since it minimizes heating of the water by the sun rays, especially on hot days. The bottle should have a skew one cup so that it can be covered after setting up. Next is to create a small hole on the lower end of the bottle about an inch above the bottom. It's important to create the hole right above the bottom of the bottle and not at the bottom itself. You will see why shortly. I'll be using a soldering iron to make the hole but depending on the thickness of the plastic you can use a pin or even a heated nail. The hole should be very small but if you make it slightly big there are ways to remedy it. Once you finish making the hole, you are about 90% done. You just need to test it and make sure it's working. You may need to make a few adjustments when necessary. The hole I made is probably too big, but let's test it to see if that is true. We have to fill it with some water. To prevent the water from draining out, I keep my thumb on the hole as I fill the bottle. Once I take my thumb off the hole, the water flows out. You can actually regulate the rate of flow of the water by screwing on the cap as shown. Well, that didn't work. I think the cap for this bottle is not airtight. You can only regulate the flow of water with the cap only if the cap is airtight. I'll demonstrate this with a smaller water bottle. Now back to our bigger bottle. One way to make the water flow slowly or to drip is to reduce the size of the hole that we just made. This can be done using a soldering iron if the bottle has thick walls. You just have to pull some of the surrounding plastic to close up the hole using the hot soldering iron as can be seen. Let's test the setup again to see if it's working now. We fill the bottle with water and check the flow of water through the hole. It looks like it's working now. The water is dripping slowly from the sides of the bottle to the bottom. Now the drip setup is almost done. You just have to fill it up with more water. Once the water is full, we just have to place it right on the soil close to our plant or plants. That's it. We are done. Before we leave it overnight, we can test it again to be sure it's still dripping. As you can see, it seems to be working as expected. There's no need to dig around the plant before placing the bottle close beside it. This ensures that there's no disturbance of the roots. However, if the plant has been mulched, you can pull back the mulch a little bit before placing the drip set down close to the plant. Let's check back the following morning to see if it's still working. By the following morning, the water level had gone down a little bit as you can see. The soil around the plant is also moist. This shows that the drip system really worked. The reason for making the hole on the side of the bottle rather than at the bottom is to prevent clogging of the tiny hole by soil particles which would stop the drip from working. 
after an additional two days, the water level had gone down to about the middle of the portal. The soil around the plant is also still moist. So you have seen how the system works. You can give it a try and let me know how it went in the comment section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, show your approval by hitting the like button. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next video. Check out our other videos or see you in our next. Until then, it's adios.